Hi everyone, it's Robin from Crafting with Robin, and I've got a Timu haul. It's actually two little packages, and this one just has one little box in it. It's a drone I ordered because oh, it's got a couple things in it. Got some little ornaments for next year, some DIY, just little bulb-shaped ornaments, and the drone I ordered. I knew this order wouldn't be here before Christmas, but I ordered it anyway because I ordered one a while back for my other son, and I figured it would be, even though it's probably not the, the greatest or the most high-tech drones, um, they I figured they could play around with it and practice before they get a big drone that they spend money on. And I gotta tell you this, this is how my package came. With that poking out of it. I don't, I don't know why they would do that. I don't know if it was Timu itself or if it was customs when they tore my package apart and retaped it. They couldn't get it back in, but that's exactly how it came. And very easy to rip open. And a while back on one of my other videos, oh, see, they got the U.S. Um, United States Postal Service sticker on there. But one of my other hauls, I talked about how I fell in love with the canvases from, it's, today is December 26th. I'm kind of just spending the day in my pajamas. I did shower and clean pajamas on and everything and thought, I just, I'm home alone, watched the movie and stuff. But anyway, it's going back to my story. I've fallen in love with a lot of their canvases that I've ordered. So I ordered a bunch. I want to frame them. And either give them away as gifts or maybe even try to um, frame them nice and sell them. But look at that's cute with the snowman, the cardinal, the little gingerbread. And all of their canvases that I've gotten so far, and it looks like all of them in here, come with this little foam in the, in the inside of them. So you can roll them up and keep them nice. So they are kept nice, and this one was in plastic. I'll probably try to put it back in the plastic if it looks like it'll go in there. Otherwise, oh, yep, yeah, it does. So the rest of them I probably won't roll back up right away till after the video, just for the sake of time. But it looks like there's quite a few of them in my bag. Actually, this one's not going to go back in the plastic because it's all ripped up. And this one, they actually taped it, which I'm not sure I like. If they, it doesn't leave residue, then it's fine. It looks like it's not going to. But this one, oh, that's a, I do not remember ordering this one. Ah, you know what I think this is? I think this is a window decal, but I still don't remember ordering it. So I might, either I ordered the wrong thing, I got the wrong thing, or I did order this as a window decal. I don't, I don't recall ordering a window decal. I don't recall most of my prints I, that I ordered, I think, were Christmas prints. So either I ordered this by mistake or they sent it by mistake is what I'm thinking. But I will have to check my order. My phone's not here with me right now. So let's see if I can get this plastic off without ruining it too bad. Oh, this plastic is kind of taped on. There. Oh, okay. I see what this is good. Okay, this is actually a wall decal. I do remember ordering this. And this I figured I could see. You can see where it kind of comes apart there. Um, so this is separate. So I kind of figured I could do some kind of picture with it or something. Use this as a background on something. Whether I use the whole thing all together or I take the wording, use the wording on a plaque or something. And uh, I don't know, I'll have, to, I'll have to decide. I just went through one day and just ordered a bunch of stuff that I thought I, I liked and and I'm hoping to get motivated to do some stuff. 
But this one, this one is a canvas. See, they feel a little damp because it's rainy here in Minnesota today. So hopefully nothing. I don't think they. Oh, this is. Looks like there's three prints here because they're rolled together. So I have to try to try to do this a little more careful. And this one's got a little plastic rod in the middle to keep it together. Okay, so with this we've got, oh, this was that one. Merry Christmas, and that's in red. Kind of a brownish red, a rust-colored red. Merry Christmas. And then I think the other two were two different kinds of trees. Oh, no, this was a tree. And then the third one is that same rusty red color, and it says... Um, Ho, 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 I have it upside down. And these three, I believe, are like 11 something by um, 15, maybe. Yeah, I wish I would have brought my phone in here. I'll have to look on the packaging and see if they say what, what their size is. I do want to roll them back up so they don't get ruined. And this one, I tried to keep the tape on it so I can tape it down, back down, so it will stay. Ooh, I'm kind of bending that one. But this would look, this, they showed it on a wall behind a sofa in three different pictures with the tree in the middle, the Merry Christmas, and then the Ho Ho Ho. I do need to fix this a little better because it's not perfect on there. But I can do that afterwards. And that says 11.7 by 15.6. So that was those. And this one, the first one I showed you was 16 by 24. The one with the snowman and gingerbread and everything. And here's, actually, this one looks like it might be the same as this one. Yep, this one's the same. It's that Merry Christmas with the holly and stuff. And I did I did intentionally order doubles of some things because, see, I like the way this one's packaged. Because if I do it for, you know, to give away or sell or whatever, Christmas gifts, anything, I can do two of them. And this one is 11.8 oh, by 16.5. And did you notice it's inside of a little cylinder with the little caps at the end? And I like that way of the way they store their send their stuff. This one was this one was start the one that started it off. I fell in love with this barn and the trees. Just this whole winter scene. Just it's what started it all. Got me wanting to do this. And you can see there's start of a house over there. And I have a whole, my whole wall behind my couch really is, I don't have anything there that I put there all the time. I have, if anybody's ever noticed my fireplace, we built my fireplace and I have some wood left from the fireplace that I wanted to do something on that wall. It's hard to explain. It's kind of, I wanted to create my own little, um, what would you call it? Kind of an art piece, but yet it's so it's just the slats of the wood. Um, and how do I explain it? And maybe have it so that I can hang stuff on it. So like it would be the background to some pictures or photos, whatever I wanted to do on there. Whether I did pictures of my grandkids or it, whatever. So I, I did get it in there nice and simple. I should write on the outside of these which ones they are. And this one, the same, 11.8 by 16.6 or 5. I can't read that number. This one, another tree one. I really like the tree pictures, the snowy trees. 
This year, Minnesota, we haven't gotten. I think we had one day where we had a little bit of snow stuck to the ground. We haven't had to um, shovel or snow blow anything this year yet. And it's just the weirdest thing for Minnesota. And I believe it was 50 degrees today. That's what I think. I know it was yesterday. Yeah, I haven't worn my winter coat this year. Same size, the 13 point or 11.8 by 16 and a half. And this one, I did get a couple Santa pictures. I just think it, it, they look so, they have this vintage look to them that, I don't know, it kind of, I like it. I'm excited to like go garage sale and find some frames that I can. Um, repurpose for these canvases and sometimes when I do um, I have a hard time getting rid of stuff sometimes when I when I make it you go through the hard work you make it look pretty and then I don't know it's just me I like how they go back right into these things the bigger one let's see yeah, I got I have quite a few more in here and then some other stuff also. I'll stick with the same size of print. This is the same. It's like a oh that's a, that's a smaller one too. And this one's also tape. And it's another Santa. And if I do when I do do these, these, this one has a cardboard inside. I'm going to leave it there because it's kind of in the right spot. And this one, he's holding like a a globe where he can look at us and find all the naughty kids and good kids. And he's smiling, so he must be seeing more good kids than naughty. Put them back in the plastic. And then I've got the same size. And this one, oh, this one's pretty too. It's got the ornaments. And on the bottom it says Merry Christmas. You know, and it's, these are not looking as good on the camera from what I can see as they do in person. They're, um, they just look, I don't know, prettier. Call it more colorful. Is that the right way or vibrant? Oh, I, I didn't roll that one tight enough. I'm going to do it when I'm done. See, I told you I ordered quite a few of these. <laughs> okay, and this one. Oh, this one is cute too. Christmas rules. Now, this is something I could have done on my Cricut, but I actually liked the way, liked this one. Spend time with family, believe in magic, be kind, build a snowman, um, have plenty of hot cocoa, bake cookies, spread Christmas cheer, and give more than you get. Pretty sure I did that this year with 11 grandkids. <laughs> but I got all the hugs and smiles. That makes it worth it. My one granddaughter says, Grandma, you must be rich with all these toys. I'm like, nope, I know how to shop cheap. Oh, okay, I will have to do this one also when we're done. I'm not getting it tight enough. Okay, let's go to this one. Same size. Oh, another Santa. So I got three Santas for sure. I might have another one. But he's holding like a sprig of holly and berries. And he's more of a black and white neutral, you know, kind of a shades of blacks and whites and dark blues. Oh, you know what? I'm folding it the wrong, I'm rolling it the wrong way. That's okay. 
You just start where. Okay. Then I've got a couple smaller ones. We will see. These are, I believe these are 8 by 11, 8.3 by 11. And it, this one is cute. Let it snow. Got the little cabin on there, log cabin with the trees. This one I kind of think I was thinking for myself. I really like it. And I don't have a ton of, well, other than the one wall I was just talking about. But if I do that thing where I was, that I plan on doing, I've been planning that for over a year, I could hang that on it. Okay, another smaller one. This one's taped. And I don't think, um, Got to think about it. the one that had three prints. I think I paid like maybe six dollars. Otherwise, everything else was less than that. So I didn't pay a lot. Oh, this one is cute. Too. This one was one of my favorites too. The gingerbread. Just simple. Just put it in a. Uh, I could paint a frame red. But I don't know what I would do. Probably a red frame, or I even have a frame back there, but that won't work for this. I'd have to I'll have to play around and see what see what I find that looks good. I could paint a just a really muted red or even a brown stained frame would look good with that. Make it the gingerbread color. Or there's even some greens in it. What is that? Was that in this? I bet it was. I have to put that back in there. But I'm not sure what this is. It says 12 by 16. Oh, this might be another one that I ordered with three. Three canvases, it looks like it. This one's wrapped up nice. That is one thing I haven't, I've ordered quite a few and like even that with those two canvases that were sticking out I hope nothing else fell out of this big I'll have to check my order thoroughly and make sure that I got everything but um not their canvases they come so well wrapped that I haven't had any issues with any bad corners or anything now hopefully I don't go and ruin them because I'm unwrapping them and then I'm going to store them for a while I'll have to leave them somewhere where I can get to them. So if I find frames at garage sales, I'll have to write down these sizes. So I look for that. I always keep a little tape measure in my purse. Oh, this is pretty. And this one is wrapped in some styrofoam. This is pretty. So we've got the winter scenery with the trees and the little A-frame. I don't know if you'd call that a cottage, a house. It looks like it might just be the roof of a house. Maybe there's so much snow it's covering the rest of the house. And then there's this. I don't remember ordering this one, but I must have. There's this one with just the trees. And then another one with just trees. And these are kind of a muted shade, like a um, almost black and white, gray and white. Those are pretty too. And those could be for somebody that just wants a subtle hint of winter in their house without going overboard with the colors. Okay. I'll try to get it back in the bag. Don't think it's going to work too well for me. Oh, it does. Okay, that might be it for my canvases. Oh, nope, I got another one in here. Another 8 by 8.3 by 11.8. Oh, another Christmas rules one. So it was the same as that other one that said Christmas rules. 
what I could do is roll those together so I have them together. But I'll probably look at them again and label all of these so I know which is which. And then I get, did get some beads. So next year with my grandkids, if you remember, if you saw my video where we did crafts this year or the video where I showed what we were going to do, did I do a video? No, I didn't. Anyways, we did some snowmen out of beads. This, these, this year I ordered some Santa beads. And I'm going to start a little tote where I'm going to put these things that I order so I have them ready for next year because I couldn't find half my stuff this year. It was all mixed up. I did order, oh, here, I did order some more of these little candy cane that'll go in, the full candy canes that'll go in. They're just a couple inches wide. That'll go in that little bin also. And then some ribbon. This is a, I'm going to open it. This is like a, a burgundy color, maybe, and tan plaid. And this one is more of a, I don't know if you call, what kind of plaid you call this. Is it a tartan plaid or not? I don't know. It's got the green and gold and red. And then some more little beads with gingerbread and the gnomes and reindeer on them. I think that's it. Then I ordered some fabric. And these are pre-cut little squares. I think they're 3.9 by 3.9. I have ordered these before. But I plan on trying to do some quilts. I, I'm going to take the summer off again and get some sewing and stuff done, which means that I will spend some time during the school year trying to get my craft room in order. Because last summer I spent the whole summer getting my craft room in order, never did anything, anything constructive in it. And this year I want to have it ready for me, so I'm not spending the summer just trying to get it ready for it's not it's not too bad right now. It's just a mess from Christmas because I tend to throw everything in there when I shop, you know, Christmas shop and all that. I throw everything in there and don't do anything with it. Now, I thought I ordered more than one of these, but maybe I have another bag package coming. It's a, just a little bait or tackle thing for my sons for fishing. Um, it didn't get here in time, which I knew it wouldn't. but. I have one son that lives with me that he he will be fine. Oh, I ordered this little mom, grandma, great grandma. I just keep getting better. It's a iron on for a shirt I'm going to do for my mom. I forgot I ordered that. Anyways, and then what's this? Yeah, it looks like a couple of bags or something. Oh, it's a pillowcase. Okay. I ordered a pillowcase. This will go on my bed next year. I have the pillows for it already. So it was only a couple dollars, and I thought, why not get a pillowcase for my pillow that I have? Christmas one. Oh my gosh. Okay, I will pack it later. And then the next few things are shirts that I got for my boys. They like fishing and hunting. This one's a hunting one. And I did get this an extra large. I have two sons that they both are avid hunters and fisher, fishermen, fishermen. They both fish, they both hunt. As a matter of fact, my one son was here and we made fit we fried some fish from a few months ago for dinner tonight they were in my freezer and then this one it's that's is that a walleye i don't know i'm not I'm not good at my fish it might be a bass oh no <laughs> but another fishing shirt 
long sleeve. It's got that really soft, um, I would, it's poly, 100% polyester, but it's like a soft, thin, so it would be perfect for on a cool morning when you go out and then it gets too hot, so it's probably not. And that was a large, this one's another extra large. The next two are extra large. I'll have to have my one son go through them. Oh, this one looks like it'd be a good size. This one's a large mouth bass. I'm pretty. Oh, yeah, it even says bass fishing on it. I'm going to give this to my older son. He does a lot of um, kayak fishing and bass tournaments. And that's in the summer. And he goes, he's actually gone to other states. Like, I think he went to, he's been to Tennessee and I don't know, just for fishing, which, you know, kayak fishing, going to a, lake you're not used to would be kind of scary for me. I think kayak, scary. kayak fishing would be scary anyway, but so I'll give that to him and he'll have that. They probably, I think he does get tournament t-shirts because he does, he pays to go to these, but I'm, but he has won quite a few things. He's two different tournaments. He has won a whole, a new kayak. Those were local close to us. And then there's been a couple tournaments where he's won. He's won $5,000, another one, 800 1500 So he does win some of the tournaments, not not get first place, but I think the 5000 was first place and the kayaks were first place. Otherwise, he usually places somewhere in the top range where he gets a decent prize, another fishing shirt. And I'm, this one might be a northern, I don't know. If you, if you know your fish, tell me if I'm close. I'll ask my son when he gets home, but hopefully it's not something that we don't have around here that he never fishes for. That was, yeah, those were two, two, those two were short sleeve. This one was a long sleeve one. And this one I believe was short sleeve too, wasn't it? Yeah. So those would be good for summer. And I think I'm done. That was it for my team haul today. Um, I'm glad I got I'm glad I got this order so I could do a haul. Otherwise, I wasn't sure what I was going to do for the week. I do have a couple of craft projects I have started that my daughter keeps telling me do a video finishing those, and I should do that just to have another video to post this week. I might try to go to a couple um, after Christmas clearance sales. I'm hoping to get to Hobby Lobby, but we'll see, and maybe Walmart. So. We'll see if that happens. Um, if it does, you'll know about it because I'll do the videos. But thanks for watching this. Have a good day. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. Bye. Thanks.